Hit us with that intro, someone. Yeah, we're back. We're playing You Don't Know Jack. It's trivia or something like that. And oh, yeah, that kind of... Yeah, we're rhymed. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, okay here we go. Oh, oh. I, I, I just, I, We got disconnected. <laughs> it, it went away for some reason. Oh, no. Just take... Um... <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, well, okay, technical we Okay, here we're going to input our codes again. Well, I. I think that was. Oh. There. Um. I'm back. Cool. Okay, you know, we can go. Woo! Ooh, I yeah. Ignore what just happens. Woo! I am Cookie huh? Master. Exactly. And I shaved my nipples for this, so let's hurry before it grows back. What? Okay. You have to be here for a while. Imagine. These couple days. Remember, it's not fair for two of you to gang up on the other player. Or at least, don't be obvious about it. <laughs> well, I'll take care of those screws now. You can force another player to answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, you win extra bonus dollars. Yep. Oh. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Flavored Eye Drops. Why let your mouth have all the fun? Flavored eye drops. <laughs> our sponsors, wrong answer of the game, and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. I hope they better actually sit me some flavored eye drops. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let's begin with Eat, Pray, Die. Which of these Julia Roberts characters would Jack the Ripper have been most likely to savagely murder? Aaron Brockovich, Vivian Ward, Tess Ocean, or Liz Gilbert? Player three? Ow. Player one? Um, excuse me. Player two? Vivian Ward is the name of the prostitute Julia Roberts yep. plays in Pretty Woman, and almost oh. all of serial killer Jack the Ripper's alleged victims were female prostitutes, so he'd probably have just loved to murder her. Oh! I can yeah, that was you. I, I did it! <laughs> did you just, wow. did you just <laughs> guess? Yeah. <laughs> she just sounded right. He'd laugh, then he'd kill her. Gosh, I love these animations. Yeah. Two. Two too woo. Open wide for if I only had a brain trust. Suppose the scarecrow from the Wizard of Oz faced off against the Wicked Witch of the West in a public debate. If he wanted to use a straw man argument against her, what might he do? Attack the Wicked Witch's character rather than the issues? Misrepresent the Wicked Witch's position on the issues? Prove the Wicked Witch wrong using statistical data? Or interrupt the Wicked Player too? Yeah. Well, there's I'm one in three. No, but it does seem like just the kind of thing the scarecrow would do. That guy was an ass. <laughs> Here's what you meant to pick. A straw man argument purposefully misrepresents an opponent's position in order to strike it down. Here's how I would debate the Wicked Witch. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the two candidates you see here tonight is a Wicked Witch. Thank you, I yield the rest of my time. <laughs> and on its way, getting naughty. And this dis or dat leg's being tied up. Player three, you could use more cash. Yeah, why don't you take a crack at this one? I'm going to read off seven names, and for each one, you tell me if it's the name of a necktie knot or the name of a sex position recommended by <laughs> Women's Health magazine. If it's a necktie knot, press the square button. If it's a sex position, press the circle button. Now, the rest of you need to hear this. Pick your answers before player three does, okay. because if player no three gets guessing. it wrong, everyone who gets it right will split that cash. Hmm. Okay, let's move. The half Windsor. The valedictorian. The Prince Albert. The Trinity. The Caboose. The Chairman. The Four in Hand. No. You wear clip ons, don't you? <laughs> My usual sex position is also the way I usually tie a tie, alone in front of a mirror. 
<laughs> you learned so much the cookie masters in this game. <laughs> Here's what I like to call chop till everyone drops. Say at Christmas time, every single item at your local mall sells out. According to a popular grim fairy tale, which of these stores has the best chance to be magically stocked overnight by hardworking elves? Footlocker, Radio Shack, Victoria's Secret, or Lens Crafters? Players two and three? In the grim fairy tale, The Elves and the Cobbler, a poor shoemaker is given some much needed help by elves who appear in the middle of the night. Yeah. And while the shoemaker made a nice profit, the elves were trampled to death on Black Friday. <laughs> Player one, I think your vision's blurred. <laughs> Oh, game changer. <laughs> you get the flavored eye drop. Yep. Say I. You actually get wrong. Yeah. The, in, every time that this wrong answer happens, they yeah. they have to send Alice. Oh yeah. Okay. Here's a good one. Okia dokia. If you're driving between company headquarters, which trip should be the shortest? Ikea to Kia, Kia to Nokia, Nokia to Ikea, or what? Ikea, what? Ikea, what? Ikea headquarters are exactly what? the same distance apart. Why not? Yeah. I don't yeah. think I'm right. It's yeah, not no. that. That's I think it's... Nokia is based in Finland, and IKEA is based right next door in Sweden. Kia is based in South Korea. Yeah. Whether it's phones, yeah. furniture, or cars, if it's got Kia in the name, you know it's gonna be cheap. I mean inexpensive. Inexpensive! Uh, round one is complete, and player two is out in front. But for how long? Remember, in round two, every question is worth double. Yep. Now, now this don't matters. Don't forget about your screws. You want to win, don't you? Here's one for you. Muscle milk was a bad choice. <laughs> Say the news team from the Anchorman films decides to run a relay race against a rival news team. If Ron Burgundy is his team's anchor, when will he run? Before Brick, Brian, and Champ? After Brick and Brian, but before Champ? Before Brian and Champ, but after Brick? Or after Brick, Brian, and Champ? Player three? Whoa! Oh, that was nice. <laughs> Players one and two? In a relay race, the anchor, usually the fastest runner, goes last. And they would probably promote the race so incessantly that by the time it actually took I, uh, place, you wouldn't be that I recently watched a, a running anime, actually. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. kind of helped there. I just, Let's try. The the last Guess who's sense. Dak? Mm -hmm. Dak again. I don't, I don't Run. You know, I'm not an optimist, but I have to say, I feel like things have been going pretty well with the game so far. Send Daddy for Dada Doubt Me! Oh no, my old ventriloquist puppet, Billy O'Brien! Uh, I, I hate this thing. Not me! <laughs> Billy, the whole creative team here decided to not include you in this game because you're too much of a troublemaker. Troublemaker? Me? No, I just got back mm. from traveling the world, God, studying all so the much. profound teachings of the He just puts a, a, a downer on the whole leaders. game. For yeah. instance, which popular yeah. religious group was founded by someone with the last name of Snit? Protestants, Episcopalians, Presbyterians, or Norm? Nuts. Player three? <laughs> Players one and two? The Mormon religion was founded in the 1800s by Joseph Smith. In America! The Book of Mormon! Mormon. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, which was your favorite religion you studied? Well, I particularly like the ones that treat the doubt reincarnation. Sunday, I hope the Kandak is a beautiful coffee table. So, yeah, he's just the worst. So. Take a stab at... 
Orca's 11. <laughs> Say I wanted to go around freeing the killer whales from every SeaWorld location in the world. How many separate rescue missions would I need to go on? Three rescue missions, four rescue missions, five rescue missions, or six rescue missions? <laughs> Player one. Uh, nah. Player three. Ooh, ouch. Player two. There are three Sea Worlds. Yeah. One in San Diego, one in San Antonio, and one in Orlando. So you would need to go on three separate rescue missions. Well, that sounds like There's a lot There's not that trouble. many. I can do it. Let's do it. Let's go save the whales. Free Willy to do it. Yeah. Jason yeah. tells me he could use the cash. <laughs> we'll, we'll rescue it from the water, but like we won't get anywhere else. It'll we'll just we'll be like, it's on you now, pal. You're gonna have to take lift. Yeah. So we just need a nice looking slide to the ocean. Purple skinned puppet. Kangaroo, peanuts, Albert Einstein, or Uranus. Oh, oh, right. Players one, two, and three. His name is a really easy one. That should not affect me as People who talk through ventriloquist puppets kind of creep me out. That you talk through me. Quiet, Billy. Stop trying to get me to kill people. Wow. Now you're creeping me out, man. No, stop creeping me out. Take a good look at the midnight run to the bathroom. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, how would Paul Revere secretly signal to you that he has to pee in the sea? I have to do a number one in a one. I have to do a number one in a two. I have to do a number one in a three. Or I have to do a number two in a one. I don't know. Sucks to be you. Ah! Player three? Yes. Damn. Uh, okay. <laughs> a number one and a two. According to Henry Wadsworth Longfellow's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, Paul's signal for the British was one if by land, oh. two if by sea. And as we all know, a number one uh. is P. And Americans would have known about the British sooner if he hadn't stopped for a number four. You don't even want to know what that is. I think that was a lazy joke. Yes. Exactly. There is no person to change to that's what just... Welcome yeah. to the attack. Okay. Uh, We're just right, going for it. Yeah, here we go. Here go. We, don't, we don't need the rules. This equals that. What new thing do these combine to make? The <laughs> lot <laughs> I've been, I've been pressing it and it's not doing it. Gotta be faster. Deadly poison. <laughs> Die, Dr. Pepper! Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Because <laughs> of that one wow. final. Uh, Way to go, player two. Players one and three may never show their faces in public again. Speaking of public disgrace, let me remind you. You don't know Jack. No, I don't. No. Okay. But I did it. Well, we got through that episode. Yeah. yeah that was a good game, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, All right. Okay. Well, we'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs>